जय हिंद टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कन्फ्यूज वर्ड्स लेट मी टेल यू वट कन्फ्यूज वर्ड्स आर कन्फ्यूज वर्ड्स आर द वर्ड्स दैट क्रिएट्स कन्फ्यूजन वाई यूजिंग द सेंटेंसेज एंड दीज आर द वर्ड्स दैट आर ऑफ एंड आस इन यूर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल एज योर अकेडमिक अकेडमिक एग्जाम्स ओके whether you are the student of class 10th or class 12th these questions are asked how these questions are asked we'll uh, discuss it uh, later but uh, let me tell you uh, the other name of these confused words that uh, that you might have heard that is homophones homophones is what homo means the same and phones means the sounds okay If you see closely these two words, the sound of these two words are very really similar, except and except. But the spelling of these two words are different, except a double c e p t and except e x c e p t. And if you try to, if uh, we try to find out the uh, parts of his speech, what the parts of his speech of these two words? So except the part of his speech of except is uh, verb and except e x c e p t is a preposition. means it is used as a preposition in the sentence and it is used as a verb in the sentence the meaning of these two words are also different that's what i'm trying to tell you the sounds of these two words are same the spelling and the meaning are different okay except is to receive and accept means to exclude so if the learners are only learning the meaning of these two words they will definitely uh, get confused when he or she used in the sentences okay so try to use these two words in your sentences like everyone except maria except means to exclude exclude maria accepted the invitation okay means excluding maria everyone accepted the invitation it's only the maria did not accept the invitation so except means to exclude and this one accept where it is used as a verb means to receive if you change the place of these two words means on the place of accept if you use accept this word and here accept the meaning of the sentence will change okay so uh, mind it when you use when you are using these two words in your sentences okay let's move to the next one i hope the meaning of these two words are very clear to you the second pair of confused words is advice and advice advice ends with c and advice end with ends with s e advice ends with c e is used as a noun in the sentence and advice ends with s e is used as a verb in the sentence the meaning of these two words are advice it is the suggestion received suppose you are giving me suggestion so giving suggestion is advice and accepting suggestion is advice okay use of these two words in a sentence i need your advice not advise if you write advise so it will be wrong so this is how this question is asked in in, in editing so they will write advise in place of advice it will be wrong and what you have to do is replace advice with advice i need your advice and the advice i advised you to take umbrella maybe the weather is bad that's why i advise you to take your umbrella all right these two words affect and effect again the parts of his speech are different affect is used as an action verb is a verb action word and effect is a noun effect means the end result outcome or result and affect means to influence okay okay let's use these two words in your sentences the weather will not affect the match will not affect the match match means will not influence the match okay so the weather will not affect the match the song had soothing effect on the baby soothing effect means the end result of the baby of the song is very pleasant so the, this is one is the end result of the song the song had a soothing effect on the baby effect if you replace 
effect with affect it will be wrong okay because there is already a verb this the song had a soothing effect so mind it when you use these words in your sentences so affect here will be wrong and effect here will be wrong okay because there is no uh, verb okay so affect is a verb here there is a need of verb when you are framing sentences without verb you cannot frame sentence as you know okay so this is how we use affect and effect in the sentence affect is an action verb it means to influence and effect is a noun is used as a noun in the sentence and the meaning of this word is the end result or the outcome you can say the next pair of words is already already two words all and ready separately and one word already so already means completely prepared completely prepared and already before the specified time all right see the uses of these words in the sentences they were all ready to party means they were all ready completely prepared to the party all right but if you're using already so they were already at the party venue means they have already reached before they specified the time so already here and already different words means separate words have some different meaning in the sentence okay and the last pair of words of mine is allude and elude allude and elude allude means to refer indirectly or casually allude means to you are referring to somebody or something okay and elude is to avoid or escape to avoid uses of these words in the sentences the young poet often casually alludes casually the young poet often casually alludes to john keats style of writing I mean, most of the students they often what uh, casually or uh, you can say indirectly refer to uh, uh, this very famous poet john keats in the writing okay so you can say uh, you can use allude uh, for in the sense of indirectly or casually okay to refer somebody um, casually or indirectly but in this sentence you can see he often eludes eludes means to avoid or escape he often eludes her for fear of a confrontation he often eludes eludes means to avoid or to escape so he often eludes her for fear of a confrontation means means uh, he fears that some confrontation may happen, so that's why he eludes. He often eludes her, okay, because of th that fear. Uh, I would request you to kindly share it among your friends so that they could get benefit of it. So this brings me to the end of this lesson. Thank you.